You remember when you teach your kids how to add and subtract numbers. It is easy for them to learn and understand these simple problems. They can even imagine them as if they are apples or people or money. But it comes one day and they see a larger number subtracted from a smaller one. The confusion will start from this point. Because they cannot imagine it. And sometimes they see the negative sign in the beginning of the problem. Or they see more than a negative sign. Most of the parents try to explain these problems by comparing numbers with money. If the number is negative, it means that I owe someone money. It is a nice try but they still get confused. And they cannot imagine these numbers like before. This new way of thinking we try to push them to it is not really helping them. By then, they even get confused with the simple problems they used to solve easily. You can also tell them to take the smaller number and subtract it from the bigger one. But they still get confused because they don't have the visual idea as they used to be. In this video, we will show you a powerful way to deal with this problem. As you know, Kids need to visualize things to understand them. That is why we need to give them pictures in their minds. Blocks Blocks are one of the best inventions to help kids learning. For this problem we going to use two colors. Two army toys which are going to have fun playing game of who is going to win. The blue color is called the positive army. And the red color is called the negative army. But before you start, you need to teach your kids about the commutative property. Which means that they can change the order of the numbers. But each number has to grab his sign with it. There is no difference between 4 minus 6. Or minus 6 plus 4. We have two armies. The blue army has four soldiers. And the red army has six soldiers. So, who's going to win? Assuming that they both have the same abilities. And they both have the same IQ. Then the number of soldiers is the only factor to win. Each soldier will dissolve with another soldier from the other color. Now, how many have left? Two reds, or minus two, and this is the answer. As you can tell, if we play this game again with four minus six, the answer would be the same. Let's try this problem. Minus five plus nine. It is better to organize the block this way. So, each soldier has to face his equal. These are the ones that are going to be dissolved. And you can tell from here that the blue are going to win. The remaining is plus 4. But look at this problem. 3 plus 7. Or in another word, plus 3 plus 7. If we have two armies with the same color, are they going to fight? Of course not. They will join each other. And the answer will be 10. The same thing would happen if we have two negative armies. They will join each other and the answer will be minus 10. You have to give your kids several questions and let them solve them by using these blocks. And in no time they will start imagining these blocks in their minds. It doesn't matter how big are the numbers they are dealing with. They still can do it because they are getting the idea of when do they need to add or subtract. And when the answer would be positive or negative. 